Here are all the books I read in September and what I thought of them. I got you, I got you, read this, read the series. Ah, oh, I just found our main character to be so insufferable. Are we sure that's how that ends? <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm genuinely trying not to cry. Hey besties, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. You already know what we are doing today. Today we're gonna be talking about all the books I read in September. And let me just start by saying that I did not have the greatest reading month in September. I literally only read four total books, which is very low for me personally. Now. Yes, I'm still glad that I read four, but it is low for me personally, especially since I do booktube and I make book videos. But also two of those books were rereads. So in my mind, it feels like I only read two because I only read two new stories to me. So with that being said, we're gonna get right on into it. No more chatting. We're getting right on into it. Well, I guess we're gonna be chatting, but no more unnecessary chatting. Let's get into it. So the first book that I read and finished in the month of September, and let me just say, this was starting the month off on a really bad foot, and that is Pum Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice by Katie, and I don't know how to say her last name. So this is a book that I have seen all over my social media because of course, how cute is this cover? This is actually one of the cutest book covers that I own and I will give this book that, okay? I will. I love the cover, it's so cute. It's really giving the fall vibes. However, I didn't particularly love the content on the inside of this book. I feel like this book was A, very atmospheric and I really enjoyed that part of it, but I also really disliked our main character. Now I go into a lot Lot more detail about this book in the reading vlog I read this in, which is my cozy fall reading vlog or something like that that I posted last month. But to give you guys a little bit of a quicker rundown of why I did not like this. Now I understand that this is a YA book. It literally says Scholastic on the back. Like we all remember the Scholastic book fairs. Where every reader is a star. Okay, I know we do, but, <laughs> but I still really disliked the immaturity that we have in this book. Now I know that when I was a high schooler, I was immature. I know I was cringy and annoying and I get it. We all are, we all we all have our moments, okay? Especially when we were in high school. But uh, I just found our main character to be so insufferable. It was almost like she had barely any redeeming qualities. Was she great at baking? Yes, obviously. But how she treated almost everyone in this book was so infuriating. I understand that she's going through a stressful time and her and her mom run her mom's coffee shop and I get that this whole main plot point of this book is stressful in that area but like you don't need to act like that you don't need to treat people like that and again I understand we don't really know we don't know that very well when we're teenagers but also I feel like as a teenager I would not have acted this way I would have never talked to people this way especially the main guy character in this book I would have never talked to someone that I liked like that even if I didn't like them I would not have talked to them like that like I just really did not like our main character also I don't want any of you to go into this thinking it's a romance there was basically no romance in this book and the moments that there was romance it was very very minuscule so definitely don't go into this book expecting a romance book I do think there's a really big and important lesson in this and that is not to get yourself fully wrapped up in work work is not everything you still can enjoy your life and do things that are fun have hobbies hang out with your friends and your family and have a good time and enjoy your life you don't always have to be working 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 and trying to be better at work there's other things to life and I thought that was a really good lesson to learn from this book but for the most part, I really dislike this book. It's one of my least favorite books I've read personally. Um, yeah, I think I would end up giving this a two star. I might have put three on my Goodreads because I felt bad, but honestly, I would give this a two star. I just honestly would not recommend this to anyone. I think the cover is cute, and if you love collecting books like I personally do, this is a really cute cover to have on your shelf if you love fall, but I do not recommend the content that's inside. At least me personally, if you loved this book, I'm so glad that you did. That's just my personal opinion. So moving along, I feel like I talked a lot about that book. The next book I ended up reading was actually my book club book for last month and my book club is on discord the links always down below I say this in every video but for some reason no matter how many times I make my link to be never expire it always does and I have so many people commenting and DMing me asking for the link if you try to join and it won't work literally just let me know and I'll get you a new link but that unfortunately does happen but our book club book for September was a good girl's guide to murder by Holly Jackson so I obviously read this and I was very intrigued going into this this is obviously a very beloved trilogy. It's very beloved author. So I was very excited to see if I ended up loving this. No, 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 no. I did really enjoy this, but I do have a few things that I think. First of all, this is not a five-star read. It's not really close to a five-star read in my personal brain and opinion. I think that this felt really slow at the beginning. It took me a while to really get invested and enthralled in 
the story. And once I did, once it kind of hit that point where we were really chugging along and the story was really, really going at a good pace, I felt like the buildup started to get really, really good. I mean, the buildup to the final reveal from the moment I got really invested was so good and I was thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that part of it. But I do think that the final reveal kind of felt a little flat compared to the buildup. I think the buildup was so good that it had my expectations for the reveal so high that when the reveal came, I was like, mm, are we sure that's how that ends? Like, are we sure this is what's going on? Like, I was actually sitting there in denial that that actually wasn't the final reveal because it didn't feel like it. It didn't feel like anything crazy. It didn't feel like anything dramatic and like earth shattering. Like, when I personally read a mystery thriller like this, I want the final reveal of who did whatever we think they did to be so absolutely flabbergasting floored. I want to feel like, oh my god, I didn't see this coming. This is the craziest ending ever. Like, that is what I want from a mystery thriller, and I do not feel like I got that from this, but again, I think the buildup was really good, and I did really enjoy this. I flew through this book when I was sitting reading it. I was reading it really fast, and that is definitely a good thing and something that I love in a book. So yeah, with that being said, I think I would end up giving this, I think when I first finished it, I gave it a four, but I think I would give it a 3.75. I just don't think it's quite a four star, but yeah, I think I would give this a 3.75. Really, really enjoyed it and would still highly recommend it. I do still plan to finish the series, but it wasn't my favorite book I've ever read. And the last two books I ended up reading were, again, rereads. And the first reread was Indigo Ridge by Devaney Perry. I do not own physical copies of this series, which is so shocking because this is my favorite romance series I have ever read. And I was feeling very, very slumpy after these two books and I was not admitting it to myself. I was literally sitting here in complete denial. I'm like, I'm not in a slump. I'm not feeling slumpy. No, 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 no. No, God, please, no, no. Because I already had a two and a half month long slump this year. I was like, this is not happening again. No, this just cannot be happening to me. But it in fact was happening to me. But I ended up picking up Indigo Ridge as a reread because someone in my book club started reading it per my constant recommendation of this series on my channel. And she was absolutely loving it. And it made me really want to reread it. So I picked it up and I loved rereading this. I just have to say that like this will forever probably be my favorite romance series. I don't think I will ever be so attached to a set of characters in a strictly romance book than I am to the characters in the Eden series than I am to the town of Quincy, Montana. It's just I am so connected and drawn to this series and I don't know why but I am and I love it so freaking much. Rereading this book was five stars. Like when I first read it for the first time, it was a 4.75. Upon reread, I am bumping it up to a five star. I can't ever get over this series. If you have never read this series before, I highly, highly, highly recommend. I will never stop saying it. I will shout it from the literal rooftops. Encore! I'm right behind you, Andy. Come on. Do it! please read the Eden series by Devaney Perry. The first one is Indigo Ridge. All of these books also have a subplot of a mystery type thing that's going on, which just adds so much to the story and to the characters. I can't say it enough. Um, That leads me to the second book I reread, which was Juniper Hill by Devaney Perry. Now, again, favorite romance series, but this is my favorite book from the series. When I read this book about a year ago, I'm pretty sure I read both of these in September of last year. I fell so in love with Knox Eden and Memphis and Drake, and I felt so connected to Memphis because she's a mother and she just had a baby. And when I first read this book, I barely had a one-year-old and reading this book about her kind of really struggling with like, now she's a single mom, which I don't relate to that aspect of it, but I relate to the aspect of she has a newborn. And sometimes when they're crying and they just won't stop and you don't know what to do and you're trying everything, all you can literally do is just hold them and cry with them or just sit them down and cry because it's hard. Being a parent is hard. Being a mother is hard because when you have a newborn and you are a mother, that baby is so dependent on you. They they were just inside of your body for however long and they are so dependent on you for every single thing they need and you love them so much but it doesn't change the fact that it's so hard and I just felt so attached to her and the things that Knox does for her in this book and to help her as she is a single mother and she is struggling and she's also going through so much in her personal life like this book. <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm genuinely trying not to cry rereading this book, I cried so many times. I've never loved a book the way that I love this. I am so attached to these, this couple, this family. I have thought about this book almost every day since I read it a year ago, and rereading it was just the most magical experience ever, and I cried so many times rereading it. So I could go on and on and on literally forever about it. That's all I'm gonna say. I seriously can't recommend the series enough. I know it's not gonna be everybody's favorite. I know not everyone's gonna love
love it, but that's not gonna change how much I love it and how much I'm gonna recommend it. So that is all the books I read this month or last month. Um, not very good, again, low for me, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't read any of these books and maybe you wanna read some now, maybe you're gonna steer clear of one in particular. <laughs> Okay, I can't wink. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already because we have a lot of fun over here and we want you to join the fun. That was cringy. I'm sorry, but I don't care. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I feel like I just blacked out. What did I just say to you guys? Literally what just came out of my mouth? What did I say to you? Welcome to, whoa. What? <laughs> Rap. What? What? <laughs> I read. Whoa. Cheers. But I also. <laughs> whoa. What? What? There's a hair on my nose and it tickles. Literally sass scalat. Whoa. And whoa. And the Romans said, whoa. Hang out with your friends. Whoa. The half months long. Whoa. Just the. the <laughs> Please read the. Whoa, what just happened? That's actually how I feel after I film most videos. Here we are. <laughs>